Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to take a dive into probably the most popular line of shafts in golf. Has been for quite some time due to the amount of OEMs who are using the Project X Hazardous as their stock shafts. Yeah, I think a lot of people are exposed to it on demo days and in the shop. They're going yeah. into a lot of premium clubs and they're seeing it. I think, it, you know, in terms of what we see people bringing in, you know, for us to test against, it feels like, you know, 60% is, is hazardous. That's crazy. It really does. Yeah. Um, and, and they're good quality shafts and, mm. and they've expanded on that line, Matty. So we're going to look at the two new offerings. Uh, obviously, RDX Blue, which we tested earlier in the year, came out this year. Like that a lot. Really like that shaft. Very, very good. Very stable in the uh, butt section and tip section. Softer in the mid section. Loads very easy, mm. very nicely. Um, Red, as, as typically the red designated color is in, in <laughs> golf, high launch. Right. Okay, a little bit softer in the tip section, a little bit stiffer in the butt section. Actually, a very similar butt section stiffness to the hazardous black, the RDX black. Uh, okay. Uh, where that changes, actually, they follow a very similar EI pattern from the, the butt section into the mid section, and then it really drops off mm -hmm. in the, uh, the tip section where the hazardous black gets stiffer in that section. So, you know, for those golfers out there, Matty, that maybe are a little bit more aggressive with the handle, mm. but deal off a little bit. Sounds familiar. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's that's the type of player who, who would look at something like ah, this. That's really interesting, yeah. actually. So uh, I'll be curious to see how you do with this one. The green one is an interesting one because mm. obviously we've seen Hulk, the, the Hulk shaft from Hazardous, that type of thing. This is not the replacement of that. Okay. This is the replacement of the Hazardous T1100. The original, it was a kind of silver shaft, yeah. um, higher balance point, actually played by a lot of players on tour. Phil mm. Mickelson played it, remember Robert Garrigus played it. Lots and lots of players played that shaft. This is a, 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 a new version of it, by far the stiffest shaft in the Hazardous range. Gotcha. Okay, so, so it would stand above the black in this yeah, range? By quite a bit. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah, I mean, the, for the most part, the blue sits above the black. Oh, okay. In the, the only place it gets a little softer is in the midsection. Gotcha. Handle is stiffer than the black, tip is stiffer than the black. Uh, midsection is, is a lot softer mm. than all of them hmm. um, with the, the blue. So, yeah, the, the green one would be more of your designated low launch, low spin, you know, fast swing or that type of thing gotcha. uh, is where we are with the, the green. Very different. Yeah, so these two shafts will be about as different in the lineup as it gets. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and what we always like to look at when we do these tests is, what does that show in the numbers? Absolutely. Does it show high launch and, you know, mid spin versus low launch, low spin? You know, we've yet to do a test, I think, that really was as black and white as that. Pretty rare, and if it did, we probably were laughing, oh, there's the first time it's ever happened. It's pretty rare. There's usually yeah. the subtleties of it are in strike and face angles exactly. and things that the shaft, I guess, influences the swinger to do. Definitely. Yeah. We're using the 60TX in both, both very lightweight uh, shafts, 60 and 64 grams. Um, you know, that's, that's quite typical of hazardous. Okay. Normally what you find with uh, shafts, that by the time they get to TX, yeah. that it's maybe the, the regular flex was a 60, 62, Stiff was a 64, X was a 66, and the yeah. TX was a 68. Because to stiffen it up, you're not just uh, adding stiffer materials, you're adding more material. Just more material. Yeah, so that's where the extra weight comes from. So what we tend uh, to, to see is, you know, not what we're seeing here, as I say, lighter lighter weights, which these, these guys are. Which is cool, and that's kind of the extra material they use, this hex cell material. It must help keep that weight down. And I think Mitsubishi has a version of that, right? That keeps the strength up, yes. but doesn't just make you, uh, force you to have to go heavier every time. Exactly yeah. right, that's it, exactly. So, a cool. um, little bit more torque in the one. You've got 3.2 degrees of torque in the red, 2.8 degrees of torque in the green. green. So there will be fuel differences as well as deflection differences. Um, so gotcha. let's have a little run. We've got yep. it in your, your Titleist uh, TSI-3. Yep, and we got the red first. Hey, bud. It's good, a little spinny, but good. It's a bit more in the middle, I think. It's got some air time. It's a nice, isn't it? Like it's pretty friendly flight. I don't feel like it's ducking either direction. No. No, strikes are really, really good. Speed's good, Matty. 122 coming out 174 ball. Yeah, 12 launch, 20, just shy of 2800, right out the middle. Dynamic loft 17. Love it. 
Love it, love it. It's okay. Good. So there we see, it's, it's kind of went to plan, hasn't it? <laughs> it's got a little bit of extra spin on it, doesn't it? It's got it? a little bit of excess. We preloaded some swings with your driver in there. Yeah. Um, just to see what we get. And very typically with your driver, you know, good launch, less spin. You know, we know your numbers. And this definitely kicked up the spin a little bit i would say probably initiated by a slightly lower strike with it, this i feel like i'm hitting them a little bit lower in yeah. the face which is interesting that's kind of what can happen i guess mm -hmm. you've seen it a million times the shaft makes you strike it a bit different and that's what changes your numbers yeah yeah let's uh let's pop the green in there see what we get the first one performed as intended as, as you know i'm sure true yeah. temper you know project x designers you know, would have would have loved to see what that what that done there. Agreed. Um, you know, it is definitely for the players trying to retain some spin. It worked well for a lot of players who maybe play with a bit of a strong grip, Matty, mm. struggle a bit with the driver, kind of you know into out path, de loft in it, upward angle of attack, struggle to retain enough loft. That's the type of player who should be looking at has this red. That's a really good uh, point. Yeah, I can think of a couple of people I play yeah. with that might actually like that type lots, of shot. Lots of that type of thing. Interesting. Okay, 60, uh, 62 grams in our TX uh, 65 uh, gram has this green. Mm -hmm. Do you feel some differences? Does it feel a bit heavier? Um, I, I think it just feels stiffer overall. Bit stiffer. Like I think a little waggle test with the red, you feel a little bit of something. This one just kind of reminds me, I know it's not the Hulk, but yeah. it's more down that flavor. Um, hazardous uh, RDX red with your driver head D4, this is D3.1. Okay, so if anything, slightly higher balance point. Slightly higher balance point, yeah. Okay. It looks lower. A little less spin, that's for sure. Coming in a bit flatter. It felt really nice. Really nice. Absolutely striping this thing. That let me get the strike a little bit higher on that one. Mm -hmm. That's quite interesting how it's much of a It's a really good flight for you, Matty. Yeah, I think it's still under control. Like that looks like it's got I 21, the screen, maybe 22 or so. Yeah, yeah. something right around about there. Yeah, yeah 23, 24. Good strikes too. Faded it a bit. I, I really don't mind that though. Still got a carry, best part of three. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. Airtime for days. Very neutral, and if anything, it kind of just floats to the left a bit. Yeah, I love it. I mean, those are some those are some big numbers. 308 and the fly, 11 and a half, 2363. Yeah, so we're, we're definitely seeing a little bit less dynamic loft delivered, Matty. Lie angle, um, interest again, more, more droop with the softer tip. I always really love cool. to see that. Yeah, it's uh, it's cool. Face angle staying more open, but less uh, susceptible to the to the the draw or the hook, even as it would be. A um, little bit less upward deflection potentially with the the lower angle of attack. Interesting. Cool things. Cool things occurring. Initially, I thought this is going to be kind of like one of these shafts I don't like because it feels really stiff and mm -hmm. lax feel. But I think after you make a few swings and your start line is quite consistent, yeah. I start getting a liking for it because it just is as good as I've struck it probably in a while in one right. of these tests. That, that strike was, was, as you say, as good as, really as good as it gets. I mean, yeah. just as living in that, that middle uh, spot there. And a lot of ball speed for what I feel like I'm putting into it. Like I don't, yeah. usually 175, if we're in here, we haven't hit balls for a while. I usually have to step on it hard. Mm -hmm. I feel like these are hard, but not like crazy. Yeah, yeah. I think the shaft is contributing quite a bit. Very cool. Well, um, four shafts in the lineup, black, which is the most common, blue, which is offered uh, by some uh, upgrade programs from OEMs, Matty. Mm. I think probably we'll see these 2022, we'll see the green and the, okay. the reds added, I would imagine. I think you see exactly what both profiles offer there uh, from a build perspective with a counterbalance in the green, lower balance point in the red. Um, obviously very, very different flight yeah. uh, profiles coming off of those as well. I mean, it done, it done exactly as they would hope it to. Which is nice to see. Yeah, kicked up a little bit with the red and, and it really flattened out your trajectory yep. um, with the greens. So, 
Hey, your hats off to, to uh, the guys at True Temper. They've, They've done, done a great a, job. A great job with that. Yeah, absolutely. Good stuff. Okay, guys, um, more shafts coming through the door actually all the time. New Fujikura product, new uh, Mitsubishi product coming through the door. There's a new Project door. X shaft we need to try. There is. Yep. There is. Yeah. So um, lots and lots, lots and lots coming, even before it. we even get to the PGA show. I know. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, stay tuned for more than that. We'll see you again soon.